I say we start by saying number one. Yes. Number one podcast. Camera. Oh, congrats, this is lads. I forgot, yeah, man. <laughs> How does it feel? Amazing. Does it, feel? it feels like this. Legit, right? We've been around each other for about an hour and a half today. He's been saving that. That's oh, horrible. That's a way to shoot my load. There we go. You're number one, Stephen. I'm so proud. You know. Is that your first sort of thing that you've had so far? Yeah, yes. Yeah, it's my only achievement, but it's a good one. You know, you get like a little something uh, for us. It's not like it's um, all here. It's not, not number YouTube. one. Can How we make I? one? Can someone make us one and Sorry. send it to Brian's house? I've, I've been told that uh, it only happens sort of once a year where uh, a new podcast goes straight in at number one. Turns out that was a lie. It happens all the time. <laughs> <laughs> so genuinely, the way you're happy. Very about happy. What, it happened. Number, number one. I didn't realise oh, right, how, yeah. how good it was. It is well, the podcast quite or, Yeah. yeah. Not just general. Like. You're not arses, that. Arses. Yeah, just it's another day for you. Yeah, drop in the ocean to this lad. Here we go. <laughs> I mean, if they don't give you anything, what's the point? Yeah. Like, he just he just is turned it in, around is to it the. Is it in th- either of your bios? Um, I don't have. A, I've got exactly. I've got EXO in my bio. EXO okay. for life, and then like that. Yeah. I thought you just said, "Come talk to me, babe." EXO. No, no, no. I don't. I don't say babe. Have you had anyone mention? Because there's sort of few weeks have gone past now. About you joining the group? Um, no. <laughs> no one bothered. No, uh, like my family have. Yeah, what are your, what are your family saying? <laughs> yeah, they're happy with it. Um, did they see the videos and stuff? Did they? Yeah, yeah, and they're they're very impressed. Like Max as well. Uh, he's like, more. oh, it's a big opportunity. Uh, Does Max really good should now because he's not the only bearded man in your life? Yeah, he's. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. He, he'll. Yeah, Max's got a big beard. Big beardy boy. Um, He'll come to accept it, you know. Yeah. I don't think he'd fight you over it. Uh, to be fair, that that could be a good undercard fight. I don't know. It's a blessing. You see, unless he's unless he's really into it, he's he's very soft. Bless him. <laughs> but we could have a cuddle match. <laughs> we yeah. are still talking about he, boxing. Yeah, yeah. Actually, he, he once there was a big fight in the bar he works at, and he, and he picked <laughs> up a, like a six foot plus guy and slammed him against the wall. Really? Yeah, I was really impressed. <laughs> well, it's Max for you, you know. Uh, but when he wants to, he can turn it on. So I um, <laughs> moved swiftly. What, yeah. what, else, what else have we got? Uh, actually, we haven't. You, you mentioned your family. We don't know a lot about them. Other yeah. Than, um, Neither do I. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when are they coming to collect you? No. Um, I've been waiting for three months. Yeah, I, I don't talk about them that much. Got very are very supportive. Yeah. I'm not saying that. Go on, Will. I said you Where talk, all he is. I mean, you talk about your sister a lot. Oh yeah, that's it. Uh, after parties, but she's married now, and uh, I've stopped trying to sell her off to. <laughs> oh, you were trying to marry her off for a bit, weren't yeah. you? I remember that. I think I think I did it to you. Yeah, uh, and Minnie Minta. To be fair, yeah. I mean, Minnie you... Minta would have been a much better option. I than choose me. wisely, you, you know. I also went for Joe one. Weller. Uh, that was the first one. Uh, choose wisely. <laughs> I think Minnie Mint has the ideal candidate because he's sort of a one. Yeah. He seems like a long term sort of one woman man, and this he's got it. money. And if he got in the will, I was going to say. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Mrs. Minter and the collabs. Oh, think of all the mini Minters they could make. Oh, yeah, but in, right. instead she went for a Welshman. Did she? <laughs> sheep shagger. Yeah, that is not. She's not a sheep. That's not. Yeah. Um, Let me just give her a ram. Welsh people. <laughs> Uh, Should we talk about this fucking fight that's Welsh been agreed? Yes. yes. What? Wait, what's that to say? I don't so, know. I don't know. Big American bloke fights. Robbie Williams. T- Robbie Williams messages about it. Robbie Williams. He's interested. He says he's like, get on the underground versus it. Gary Barber. No, he's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, Take that. 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 Oh fuck! fuck. <laughs> that was, you got there like half a second quicker. He's like, but, do you want to put some money on it uh, for who's going to win? I was like, no, I'm Robbie, gonna I don't have any money. <laughs> he's I'm like, you're in a different tax bracket than me, yeah. but he'll win this. So. The email just replies, fine, my car. It's ridiculous how much Robbie Williams um, Really? No, I don't. And, any, any early uh, predictions or thoughts? But they, they're talking about doing I mean, brother versus brother, brother versus brother, yeah, dad, dad versus dad. dad. finished. De- I don't think Deji should get in the ring with Jake Paul. He's, like. No, he's big. He's big, isn't he, Jake Paul? Jake Paul physically re- yeah. should be fighting JJ and Logan shouldn't really be fighting JJ. No. If you're talking about... Weight classes, right? yeah. Challenge. There's the size, especially when you're like amateur boxers. That that's such a big factor. Like well, yeah. skill doesn't Logan's really come into it as tall, much. Oh, he's shorter than me. Just wait. Log- is he? No, yeah. Log- Logan apparently is a good six foot foot and four I, six no, five. I stood next to him. He's like 
Yeah. <coughs> You've met Logan Paul. Yeah. Let me just well, look. I haven't met him. I stood behind him on a table at a club one, so it's not exactly that. <laughs> Literally. You, you were on the table. You're like, he's not even that tall. Holding a tray. He's one. Logan Paul. He's bringing the drinks. <laughs> Logan Paul's 188. Well, well you're tall though, so you're what, you six foot? One? Uh, six foot two. Yeah, but you're well, one, one and a half. You're two, six foot two. Two. Two on a good day. It depends. Depends on depends the who you, It depends who's asking Lawrence. I can't lie. That's a really good point. Uh, I, I thought he was taller than me, this guy. He's 188. You were probably about 189. 189. No, I'm 183. Uh-huh. Yeah. So it's like two. two so I'll, do, I'll remember that. Step, I'll like, remember that when, he, when I meet him and um, he gives it the old uh, d- white DJ coloured. Yeah. Say, so, all right, mate. I'm Just the white DJ cheating. coloured. Have you? Has anyone told you? Oh. Wait, it, it is. It is. Con, it is confirmed. This. There's no way they're going to back you? out now. There's fucking far too much money in it. Okay, so uh, I'm like, are money. you in there? Are they going to let? Uh, I think I'm going to be commentating, but yeah. they'd be they'd be stupid to get anyone else. I can't think of an American that would do it. You would came star maybe, mm-hmm. but I don't think they like. Mm. Mm. All right, so things that we've got to talk about from the EXO. Uh, what, what are we calling? Uh, is there a team like? Do you know people have armies and squads and families and all of this rubbish? Yeah. What awesome. what do we say? Sometimes it's not the laws limbs. I'm. <laughs> they're they're very small. People I don't want to you make someone look the best they've ever looked in a video, and how they thank you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that Paris video was fucking good. Oh, it, it was. was. Good that was good. Um, it made Steve you look so fit. <laughs> All those quick yeah, cuts. all those quick cuts. I, 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 we did run quite a bit. We ran five k. I like really? I've seen, yeah. I go, there was one of the comments was like, "It's illegal to film the Eiffel Tower." It at is night. illegal. Copy, copy right. Right. How, what, be talking how about that. French do you have to be to like impose no. a rule like that? It is. It it's is. stupid. How, how's yeah? How's the tower gonna fail a copyright? No, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't, I don't <laughs> think they go to the tower and go. You're right. Tag us on Instagram. I thought the bit at the end where you're looking up at the tower. And then the emotional. I even mm. texted you this like a couple of days ago and said the music you used was fucking perfect no, for that good. moment. Like, mm. I think every time Lawrence points the camera, it's like, "Do this," and I'm like, mm. "Oh, I just do it." No, you're, just yeah. Yeah. you're going through the same thing I went through when I first started working <laughs> with him. Like, I don't trust this prick. And then, and then <laughs> you, you watch it, a video like, and you're like, yeah, "Oh, he's already smashed it." it. Yeah. When, we got, when we got back from the first football holiday, Brian hated it because really? we've been doing this thing. Look this way, do this, look that yeah. way. Mm. I can imagine. I'm not, I, I think it was more a case of I hate to just travel. I didn't mind all the shooting. Yeah, it's it's that I'm not built for small seats. I know. Um, I realised this the other day as well. I suggested let's go on some trips, and since Brian's only sent me trips to hot places where you can only fly first class, <laughs> places. <laughs> I was going like let's go very far north, Norway. He went Norway. I was like it'll Norway. be fucking but, yeah. frozen. <laughs> Caribbean. I sent them back. Um, Actually, they love the football though, as well. That's uh, the Maldives, yeah. I think it was. Maldives, sorry. Yeah. Oh, Maldives. Mixing anyway. Up, mixing up your clusters of islands. Um, Stephen, how hard is it to film sketches without laughing? Someone's asked. Uh, Impossible. Yeah, I, I corpse a lot. Uh, you are? Laugh a lot. Oh. That's, Logan uh, Paul isn't hanging around. Inside I talk, isn't Does it? it annoy you? You know what annoys me when I watch a YouTube video that's a sketch? Is someone is on camera able to do it perfectly? The person behind camera is going. <coughs> Yeah. yeah, that always really gets me. I'm usually the person that makes right, like, laughs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, the thing is, I, I've written the jokes as well. That, that just means a bit full of myself. Jesus Christ, ladies. Do you get a lot of SDIs? Pretty... No. Email attention? <laughs> no. No. It's tragic. You look at these Twitter likes. Really? You do get a lot of likes, though, don't you? Off the girls and that. Yeah, sort of like a friend zone. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you I like it the, is. Are you a little brother is. sort of vibe? At the I moment? think so. A little shit. Do people go, that's Stephen, good friend of mine. Like, yeah. Oh, you must be doing better with the lasses now, though, because of YouTube. Though, better, sure. yeah. But still, compared to what it was, not hard to be better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, shaking hands with someone would be better. Stand shaking. Yeah. yeah. Um, YouTube glory hold. Someone said, if YouTube ends tomorrow, what, what, would, what would you just do instead of YouTube? Just what? move on to another video company. Oh, I was literally about to say, I mean, every dying YouTuber either sets up a digital marketing agency production. or a production company, so I'd probably one of those two. I, mean, I don't understand like how awesome. sitting on the edge of your bed with mm. sort of like sparkly lights behind you doing a Q&A uh, you know, entitles you, you to set up a Stop production. Stop having a go at Joe Sod over <laughs> and over No, and I'm over actually again. not. I, I just mean generally, they all do it. Mm. I, I like Joe, Joe can crack on, but I just... I. When you make a documentary or something, you've got some real shit behind you, then you can do a fucking production. Oh, here we go. What do you mean you made a documentary, you paid other people we to did. film you? you? 
You, you just I'm not allowed to see that shit. He fucking produced and directed it, Nick Phil did. We did. All you did was go, oh, I punched him in. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Oh, look at the face. Look at the face. I used to play football, yeah. If you'd seen the first edit, then you'd, you'd right. respect Oh, him. many you'd, sad things happen around here. Oh. <laughs> Do you know I used to be a diver? <laughs> yeah. Some people tuned in and went, why is Gimli touring Newcastle? <laughs> Next time, we're just going to do me just walk around a cemetery going, these days. <laughs> yeah. Knew this one, <laughs> knew that one, knew that one, knew that one. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> Fuck dear. <laughs> oh, <it's... laughs> After the funeral, actually. Oh, no. Someone's, what's Brian's response on being called the white DJ Khaled? I'd rather be the white DJ Khaled than the white Logan Paul. Oh. Uh, has anyone ever called anyone the white Logan Paul? No. I, I'm saying it now. Logan Paul he could be. And he's colour blonde now. as well, isn't he? So the, the, little, the little prick. How did you not get a video out of that? I'd be three deep by now. I did think that in my head. I thought, <laughs> if this was Will, yeah. he'd have <laughs> my response to Logan Paul within the, within I, the hour. I mean, yeah. Maybe not my response. The first one would be just be him doing the same as he did when he saw the fight with the champagne. Yeah. <laughs> I fucked it a bit, but then I think to myself... Um, would, how be, do you respond to someone saying that? It's like it, it's it's a crappy joke, crap crap. Yeah, yeah it's a crappy uh, joke that you talk about for five seconds, but make sure it's in the title and the thumbnail, yeah. and then you make the. Other this is why we need you a part of this. Group. <laughs> <laughs> You're the fucking marketeer here. Um, I, I don't, I'm not that good at that. Um, I should have done a video about it, but. I would have loved it if you just got loads of brand deals for that one video and you're sat in the video with Dre Beats in, <laughs> a new era cap on your head, Nike head to toe. Yeah. That would have been great. Yeah, maybe I'll just slap him one day and then yeah. use that. That'd be great. At the, the end of the fight, fight, when you get in the ring, how do you think it went? Bang! <laughs> <laughs> just nick his butt. Hopefully, JJ will do a for us and I can just laugh it on commentary. No. Then I'll really be a biased no. prick. Because <laughs> actually, you I. Don't say that, not book you. No, but I did try and be, um, you know, professional this time. But next time. If JJ's slapping the piss out of Mac and just giggle like a fucking schoolgirl, I'd time. love that. You've got this lip mic really serious, just. <laughs> 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 You know I mean? That would be quite funny. Yeah, I'd I, I find it really hard not to jump up and down like celebrating. Really, I, I, I think it would be far, far worse than that. But you say I can things. try, within, and I'll try my best. I was going to say within twenty four hours, you often say something that's the complete opposite of the thing you previously. You saying I contradict myself a lot. Yeah, I do. <laughs> do you want to stay quiet? Uh, no, nah, it's alright. Con, you want to be the con 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 con's con's always the sort of feature artist. Not those back back scratches today, have you? Um, yeah. Back scratches. Con has a big back scratcher that he uses. Back like scratcher. Yeah. Oh, there was a time we having this really intimate scratching. conversation, and the guest looked off camera, and Con's just there going. <laughs> Yeah, I rate that. It, it, it was. Um, was it a big Which one was that? It was Emma Kenny, wasn't it? No, no, it wasn't. It was. Um, was it Jay Buckley? It was because yeah. he just he's like in, in real deep thought, and then he just looks at one point and he's like, "Sorry, um, I'm just gonna have to stop you." <laughs> He's got a back scratch. <laughs> <laughs> and contact. Like, <laughs> and, and I was like, that's going to be clipped out of context. Yeah. Three, with that. Oh, yeah. As soon as I put my heart down, I was like, oh. we've all done Everyone, it. I've got Twitter me saluting to say like goodbye at the end of the video. And I was like, what yeah. point of that did I drop oh a God. salute that I shouldn't have? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I thought we cut that out. So much conspiracy. <laughs> don't mind. No, I'm not letting that run. I'm not letting that run. It never happened. Yeah. Who, who do you want to collab with? So people are asking. If you, I mean, it can be a YouTuber. Chris MD. He's he's already said he wants to do it. Yeah. What would you do? Message him today. was like you fancy an act to a podcast and never got a response. So it might be waiting a canny while. Ah, oh, oh, he messaged me yesterday. Mm. So unlucky. Yeah. I love Will's latest video. <laughs> <laughs> on the uh, on the F two video at one That's point. Really um, Steve's like struggling and and, and he goes <laughs> just to breathe. <laughs> He, he just goes, yeah, should have uh, probably wasted all my goals on the last shoot I did with Chris MD. Yeah, um, we, we, me and Chris, uh, we go way back. You know, your eyes recovered quite well from what? From the ball when we ran you. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I can't head a ball. He it's faces pathetic. the ball. Yeah, a lot. <laughs> it's so <laughs> bad. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Oh yeah, yeah. He, he does a lot of face to the, the ball. The, fir well, the first one out? I did. No? Yeah, it'll be beautiful. Out then after that, it was just downhill really yeah, he quickly. Did, he did a good uh, shin shin goal. Shin volley, yeah. yeah. That's a special technique. Shot with Andy Carroll as he's running up to it. <laughs> Hit it with my right foot. As Andy always does. <laughs> <laughs> you did get one good header. I think that was it. It was a strange day, that one. Yeah. What, what were the challenges on that one? <clears throat> so it was like um, head, heads and, well, mainly, mainly head and challenges, but yeah. as 
basically as as the the shoot went on everyone sort of come to the conclusion that this wasn't going to make a great video <laughs> <laughs> so halfway through the f2 lads went penalties and forfeits yeah. that's that's the thing <laughs> and then we were like right well this is your thing so we'll just take your lead and uh that penalties went, are your thing no, football is anything. That went pretty well for us. We didn't do badly at no. all. Okay. Uh, we didn't embarrass ourselves. No. Steve's actually really good at penalties. I, I mean, we've established I'm not, so at least yeah. um, it's it, mate. After the I'm okay. Time. Yeah. Um, Cold day. What else? <laughs> Um, so we, we had to do forfeits basically yeah. one of them was um, they put Steve in a bin now I wasn't well, um, so you, I, you what right so I was I suggested it to me <laughs> at the time I was I was oblivious um, to you getting in the bin so I yeah. was like what's Steve doing over there just an I, absent father I was I was big brother I prefer <laughs> <laughs> call me daddy if oh you here we go um, <laughs> he's getting in the bin I'm like and then as I'm watching the edit back and I'm editing, it says clinical waste and they've tipped shit out of it or whatever yeah. was in it beforehand. You got into like... A shitty bin. Basically. Yeah. And I was like, I wouldn't have let him get in that bin if I'd been over there, but there he is fucking in there. Um, yeah, you know. straight, huh? Bill and Jeff is eating. <laughs> <laughs> out of the bin. Yeah, and my forfeit was to have to uh, jog around a racing track. The problem was like they oh, can oh. quite a contrast that they they missed their <laughs> they missed fair, their penalties I think I'd first. I'd rather get in the bin. Yeah, really. Yeah. They they missed first, mm. so we had to give them forfeits, and we we gave them like pretty basic, you know, nice break, forfeits. Yeah. And as soon as we missed, you know, the anti just went wapow. Mm. I, I think They're what I realised is um, Jez is a sick fuck. Yeah, know? he's like, a sadistic, like a really good... uh, not in a cool way. Oh, no, okay, yeah. he's just a, not he's a really way. into yeah. it. At one point, he went when my first forfeit came, he went. Might, Put might, your shorts down. No, he was like, um, I might make him lick me boot, and I, and I, I just looked at him, yeah, just give him like a dead stare, like, <laughs> and he went, "Now nah, I've got more respect for you." Like, I went, <laughs> Wise man, <laughs> I thought I'd shove that fucking boot up your ass. But um, it was a good laugh that day. I had a good laugh. Yeah, with yeah, it was good. Uh, the the video ends because you you haven't seen it yet, but the video ends in sort of uh, Steve makes a joke that. Oh, I embarrassed just, myself, it just, yeah. It just ended the video, basically. <laughs> oh, no. So we, we were supposed to do a whole, like, thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe to the F2. This joke is that, like, it's just a, a video-ending <laughs> joke. No, no. It's a so, career-ending joke for me. He, he just literally looked the head in his hands, he's like, fucked it. <laughs> <laughs> Bill and Jez are absolutely silent. Like, yeah, oh, that's, right. that's what made it worse. That, which <laughs> make, makes me laugh ten times more because I know that he's made such a bad joke that it's really not appropriate. And I'm like, it's in. Oh, it's, it's <laughs> going in. Um, but anyway, it, yeah, that was just the video end. And he was just like, fuck the football, fuck Jenga, and now I'll fuck this. <laughs> I thought because they were silent I didn't know and I wasn't looking I didn't know whether they were doing that thing where they're laughing so much you can't hear them yeah, oh yeah. definitely not <laughs> definitely not, realised not, not a no, smile no, I love how that's your assumption as well <laughs> not, you, you, they must you, be laughing so much but you, 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 you like the building. because Steve was that ashamed of himself he pulled his fucking uh, headband over his eyes <laughs> yeah oh it was a shambles it anyway, man. so yeah that was um, some of the first shoot days we've had that was good uh, we had a good time in Paris. Yeah, I mean, Paris. I think it was a lot more cultured than what we were getting up there. It was fucking miserable. Yeah. We were in a really nice hotel. Mm. Yeah. It was quite nice. Huh? It was really good. I like that video, the Cavani thing. What was, uh, was he as handsome in person? Oh, honestly, he, hang on. Pass your hand. Pass your right hand. So I went to meet him, and he was like, he went like this, and then on top, and I was like, mate, I've just melted in both of your hands. Yeah. Like, when he was taking a picture with us, he was sort of, he'd sort of massage your shoulders like that. So he's taking a picture, and he'd go... I mean, that would make you sort of warm to him straight yeah. away though yeah, I'm thankful that you cut the bit out at the edit so basically we're asking him questions and his like translator is going between them and he's answering me in Spanish and I was I was just sat there going yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was yeah. like exactly. understanding what was going on I was like, oh, it's it's <laughs> yeah. funny. and I'm like yeah 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 I speak this too mate yeah. mm-hmm. 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 I actually thought that was, um, yeah. it did make me think though after the F2 I thought to myself Fuck me! Starting a football team is going to be difficult if we do it. Yeah, like, I'm not sure. Where. I'd, I'd say five We're aside, six aside to, to begin with. I'd like to do a little like yeah, like a five aside or seven up. aside. Yeah, so, some training. What are you eating on the slide? No. <laughs> what you eating banana? What? Keeping energy levels up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like the Tour de France. Here. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> it's an uphill struggle. <laughs> um, what's the best and worst 
guest you ever had on the True Joy podcast is another question. Ooh, are are you going to drop names? Well, wh- oh, wait a minute. Don't you reply yet. Who do you think are the best and worst guests? As in to watch? I think just I think we go for quality, like interesting guests, not off status or anything. Like yeah, that. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because Jimmy Conrad. Um, I do like Jimmy. Uh, Kieran Dywan was really good. I don't, the best. Really good. Um, I don't normally like the the ones where you sort of have to take it seriously because I'm not going to so deal yeah. with that. Yeah. But that was really good. Uh, he said at home, going, no, 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 no. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> uh, Favourite ones? I'm trying to think way back. I'm, I'd still have to go with the Shiro one. Will's lost it because that's the only one he's ever watched. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck's sake. We, I have actually contacted uh, Alan. Again? Um, trying Alan. to get this man. He's probably not going to reply after he saw me wait Rose uh, video. He, he uh, no, he liked it, didn't he? Uh, yeah, he, he liked, liked it, it. but I mean, it's, it's, it's not like like it and then you wouldn't want to like, oh yeah, I'll go spend time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm walking around with me at the bloody shop. So I messaged him saying, me mate wants to interview you, try to get like the first yeah. mm-hmm. first big interview for XO and that and uh yeah, I was like, he's a smashing lad, all that. Like, yeah. be, be like a proper serious, like not like too serious, but like a, a light-hearted, <laughs> a light-hearted interview. Yeah. And then that video <laughs> comes up almost a day later. And I'm like, <laughs> what could have been? Good <laughs> reference for uh, what I mean, I've been saying about. Let him know you're there, isn't it? I messaged him. I was like, just you know, that's me, mate. He went, yeah, I guess that one. <laughs> <laughs> like, like legit. I, 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 I uh, I've li- literally got the fucking message here. Uh, where the fuck are we? Right. I, I, the I, I guess that. <laughs> <laughs> He's not completely insane. No. I was wondering why you didn't text us about yeah, that. Sorry. Uh, but hopefully we'll get him on at some point. Um, so, what would your career be if YouTube ended tomorrow? Oh, I don't. Thatcher Joe really sold the uh, the old roof. The old thatch life. Yeah, the yeah. roof thing. But, How about uh, that thatch? I'm, I'm not very good with heights. I don't really enjoy them that much. Right. So, um, okay. Your roof. <laughs> You're not doing the HSBC I, tower. One thing I don't like is ha- being <laughs> told. So I'd want something where I could pick my own hours because I'm sort of enjoying that about YouTube. You're really selling patching. Um. Jeez, that burp. <laughs> <laughs> That's going in there. Yeah. Um, the so yeah, I, just something Whatever where I've sort of got control. <laughs> I'd probably just sell um, sort of knockoff YouTuber merch if. Um, yeah, knock yeah. Off YouTube you merch. know what I mean? Yeah. Sounds good. Wally Ite yeah. t-shirts and things like that. Yeah. The Snide Men. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, fuck's sake, that game too. Well, <laughs> that, that, no, that was I already, yeah. so It's a disease. <laughs> Someone said we, we should call our football team the Hash Men. Uh, yeah, that'd that's be good. another one of Stephen's jokes. Yeah, you're going to struggle for sponsorship. You should be that. Are you doing summer in this? I know thing? a guy. No, is it, probably not. Is it I shit? Might. Is it shit? You, you'd, hate hate it. you'd hate it. Why would I hate it though? Because it's full of YouTubers. Uh, I've never been. I you know the like really of, clean side of YouTube. Is it sailist like YouTubers? It's just like the white of and white. It's 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 good fun to like meet What's people. Wrong with it's, 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 it's just a big shed, isn't it? Is that a, a big shed? It's just a big shed. People walk around a big shed. Yeah. At least fair. upload to put like different I mean, things on, but what? I mean it's not on. But how would you feel now if they used that phrase on the poster? It's just a big shed. Well, <laughs> I was going to say that. Probably not going to get invited there, but mm. yeah. I'm, I'm, someone was asking if we. No, I think you well, you quite enjoyed the last. Uh, I like meeting degree. people yeah. who, who yeah. like me videos. I do. I I, I do that, mm. but. Um, why not now? There'll be no fights at Summer in the City. <laughs> I can't I, see Nicky and Sammy going at each other. Like. Upload was sort of the YouTuber uh, meetup to end all meetups. Yeah, quite like, literally. They we'll like we'll never have out like that. Yeah. Like I, I looked at actually, I looked at that Joe picture of me holding Joe Weller while Do you just JJ. Just put galleries of yourself. No, on someone com- <laughs> someone commented on on Instagram <laughs> like, on that picture, and I was like, I looked close, I was like, oh fucking hell, I haven't looked at that picture in months. And when I looked at it, I was like, that was. That was like a bit of like in, oh, in YouTube. Go, it was like a moment though. Like, yeah, it was yeah, a bad yeah. moment. You had to stop yourself saying YouTube history. No. Yeah. You had to stop yourself. Came to the mirror next to him and went, oh, YouTube yeah. history. It's all <laughs> big, big in the old history. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it was mad. Uh, I don't know if we'll ever, they'll ever do another one. No, I can't see many people calling each other square head <laughs> in front of <sighs> a live stream. Maybe we could just drum it up. Yeah. Do you want to try it? Spreadsheet. Mm. Yeah. People have been saying you sh- two should uh, box. I reckon we should do one on XO. I'll fight you. I generally, I can't throw my right arm. All right, it's, cool. It's, we'll it's just well, I'll just on, like, batty What's wrong with the right? Just left foot. Only. It's something there. I broke my wrist. Collarbone. Yeah, oh, it's never been right. 
Yeah. How would you do that? Red balloon pod. No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, that's uh, funny. That's his answer. To <laughs> <everything now. laughs> Uh, on a bike I was going downhill really quick <laughs> ride this, a bike like this <laughs> well me after my wrist <laughs> and, uh, now I find your problem <laughs> and, um, hold the handles <laughs> and this kid just pulled out so I had to slam on my brakes but I did both I just Which panicked kid in, on another bike I don't know who he is right. but uh, if I find him but was he in a car? Limply backhanded. Back limp- <laughs> oh no. Anyway. no! But was he in a car? No, it? no, it was at his centre park, so I was going downhill. Ridiculous! <laughs> <laughs> you you <laughs> literally have the look of such like a, a little chav. <laughs> 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 such a centre park king. And uh, you know, my uh, my auntie was way ahead. <laughs> <laughs> trying to catch her up. Gonna be late for squash. So, <laughs> <laughs> so speeded down the hill, and this he just he just came out of nowhere just. On his bike, so I had to slam on. Went flying over, uh, over the top, and then just crashed like that. <laughs> so they were, they were both fractured. So oh, why are you yeah. pointing to your collarbone when you say? Oh, because that... I landed like that. All right. So that that was that went dodgy. Too. Hmm. Yeah, you'd then, be all right, man. Just we'll just tape you up. If yeah. I could have an injection to numb it, that'll. That sounds horrible. Better. Are those the only bones you've ever broken? Yeah. Will you ever broken a bone? Um, what was his I name? Broke my elbow, my collarbone. And cracked a rib all at the same time. Yeah, I was going to say it was a really loud fart. Up, <laughs> <laughs> uh, the elbow, I got it crushed in like a door, like you know the school gates, and it like opened and like. In there. We banned you. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, uh, Detention. Collar bone, I got. Do you know like shuggy boating? Got launched <laughs> down a hill, um, and then the ribs was wrestling. Little With who? Um, Logan Paul. Uh, <laughs> I can't remember. Okay. So wow, yeah, I was expecting that. Wow, I wasn't expecting oh. And what about you? Uh, broke me um, ankle when I was playing football. I was going to see. I, it was me on fault, really. To be honest, I went in for um, a challenge. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> broke your own ankle. <laughs> Listen, who's going in for a 50-50 with you and thinking, yeah, I'm going to break really his ankle? Yeah. I was sort of just, yeah, being an idiot, mm. to be honest. It's I, the light I, was, I was an absolute <laughs> lunatic. I was 15. I was a lunatic. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. Just flew in at someone really, and uh, what happened? Oh, oh, were they okay? They they were fine. I wasn't trying to really hurt them. Hurt them. I was just like, let them know. You know when you're not thinking straight and like you're losing your temper with how shit the game's going. Not like you. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? Are you broken anything? Nose. Oh, really? How was that? You wouldn't know. It's quite straight. Really? Is that your old psycho roommate? No. <laughs> it was like in the school playground or something. I just, I like, that girl? was playing football and just <laughs> head first into someone. And they called my mum and were like, he's had a little accident. And it's just like blood everywhere. <sighs> and then for like weeks after, there was this big red patch in the middle of the playground. And kids used to just go, It's you. That's you. <laughs> it's not a spaghetti. People going, used to go and cry around at break time and be like, That's the blood patch. It's the, it's the guy from the True Judy podcast. <laughs> At one point, I remember I was like running after um, some kid at school or whatever, playing around. I was like ten years old, tripped over, and when I, I fell, <laughs> when I fell, I landed on my face. But like you know how playgrounds like hard, gravelly, yeah, yeah, and it just took all the skin oh. right off me, fucking half of me face. But on the other half, so yeah, like, like that, I don't know Batman. Um, what do they call me down at the DCU? <laughs> Say it. It was. It was a little bit. Um, to your mum, oh, I just thought it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Hang, have you got two of these t-shirts? No, it's just the same one I always wear, mate. No, there's one Thanks, in my. Fl- there's one in my foot. He's no, always I've got it now. He's always on. Oh, did I give you it back? Yeah. Oh, oh, our okay. official colours are sort of black and white. Yeah. Black and white. We kind of broke that today. He comes on brand. Yeah. Are we, do, are we, we doing merch by the co- way? Everyone's asking for merch. Yeah, we? yeah. People are doing merch. People are already doing it. I am. But I need to go to Thank you. If I do merch, it's just going to be. Hideous really? shirts, yeah. Really? Did you not end up selling those maps? Tie-dye. Tie-dye. You do look good in tie-dye, though. One of the few people who does. Are you, when have you, I've never seen him in tie-dye. Like, like, sounds jealous. That was yeah. good, is it? What? What was that when you were sleeping? <laughs> <laughs> not again. Me nicest tie-dye top. We should design a football shirt. We like should do. the first one to tie-dye do. Tie-dye top. Black and white, sort of mm. playing it. It's just reminded me when I was in year six, we had a school disco, like end of the year, cool. and it'd just be my birthday. So I thought, right, I'll dress up. So dress I, up. So I put on the Netherlands home kit. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. Sweatpants. 
astrotrainers. Bright, this guy. Bright, bright orange. orange. To the this guy. That was so good. I don't know why I thought that would work. Oh, God, I look good in swim pants for when I'm dancing. It I produces just, the red in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. I just thought... At what, what point is Saturday Night Fever does John Travolta <laughs> turn up as Johan Cruyff? <laughs> then if a fanny? In year six. Oh. It's also, I mean... Fancy I'm, dress, what you've what you done in fancy dress. Come I've on. done so much oh, really? stuff. When I was a kid, I used to walk around as Batman pretty much all the time. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no I think we've all been there. Yeah, I used to, for ages, I used to just walk around as Batman. Batman um, and Karate Kid. I once went to kid. a party as God's gift to women. <laughs> really? Yeah, I got my flatmates to wrap me up and then it, it, it just put a label on it that said two women from God. That's good. It was a good time. <laughs> Did that actually uh, make anyone... Obviously not. Uh. <laughs> Um, I did um, yeah. when I when I was younger. I think I must have been about like seven years old. Um, uh, you you had to pick a choice of food to go to a school as <laughs> fish finger. <laughs> How do you become a fish finger? I'll tell you. Yeah, here we go. I'll tell you. Just a really big pillowcase that's covered in breadcrumbs. <laughs> it's funny because his mum went. I've got this. Got this already. Yeah. Got this sorted. Yeah. From when you were snacking. Let's last get night, cracker lacking. All right. <laughs> <laughs> um, fish finger, which is so ironic. Honestly, what did all the other kids turn up as? Yeah, uh, oxo yeah. cubes and stuff. Like that. <laughs> oxo cubes, yeah. fuck, that's hey. brilliant. Um, tomatoes and stuff. Tomato. Uh, and you're there in the older, middle as a fish finger. Did you have two other pieces of bread? You could have made a fish finger sandwich. I mean, two li- two twins, <laughs> yeah. two girls. Twins. When I was you're seven, I was like. Later, <laughs> um, I'll have the later on, I, I went as a as a devil to the Cub Scouts. Um, Again, thing. just just a breadcrumb cover pillow. <laughs> no, um, no, literally, I was I was dolled up to the nines that day. I looked like a right evil. Have you ever seen Problem Child? Um, no, no, that's a, that's one. Uh, I, I just dressed as a devil. Won a packet of um, fruit pastels for that. <laughs> Bloody result. He was, on, he was out on one all Born night. Winner, that. number one on iTunes. Packet of fruit pastels. Check the records, bitch. Um, um, what else did I do? <laughs> <laughs> what else did I dress up as? Oh, I don't know. Oh, yeah. any, any, I'm, I'm one of those ones that just kind of tries to dodge it. Mm. Yeah. Like just sneak out of the. I mean, I got my Deliveroo costume that I bought oh, for yeah. Halloween, but then didn't have any parties to go to. <laughs> so it's just Bloody sat night, as we took her over eye until I've got some other Should have just saved it for the new Do you think how many things you could sneak in, like places you could sneak in with, with a Deliveroo? Yeah. So many. Oh, it's just like just to rock up to the a Oscars. tyrant one day. Someone's giving us a burger. That, uh, that lad who climbs all the buildings on YouTube, um, nice nice he should start doing that. Could do, I. Could he's show. Got, he's, a, he's got a Timbaland advert going oh, on at the moment. Like Does he really? Because, uh, yeah, it looks really good Crazy as well. Album. <laughs> no, he, he's actually promoting Timbos. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I've seen some I, of the I pictures. didn't see the thing is, I, he's a, he's a cool lad, and, and the and the videos he makes are fucking sick. But I thought because of the nature of them, he might struggle with brands. But of, yeah. I think it probably works he's both so ways for him because yeah. It depends which brand, isn't it? Yeah, like if you're looking for someone who's going to climb a building, you're probably pressed for options, aren't mm. you? So there's only a couple of them. Yeah, Timberlands. Is he on the ground floor? Though? Is he no, he's quite high climbing instance. buildings. Mm. Oh, it's, it's videos are so they're not, scary. They're definitely not. No, I mean, you should just go accompany him one day. It's just not a chance. I, would, I, I'd, I'd I hate die. heights of me. I, I'd be shit with that. Yeah. I, I will, I obviously, I like to go to the top of the building, but I would never like to do the stuff that he does where he goes between oh, big gaps yeah, in between. Like yeah. It's when they're like, it's oh. like, the crazy Russians one, like where they go up like poles and stuff. Yeah. Like, don't. <laughs> well, we, we've seen that that uh, that Asian fella who, uh, who dro- dropped... Mm. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. See that one. I mean, yeah. that was just a fucking. Literally started doing pull-ups on the side of yeah, the building. Yeah, that point, yeah. What are you showing off for? He, he literally showing off killed him. It's probably a pure gym down there as well. Anyway. As he went <laughs> past it. Oh, it's <laughs> open now. Oh, j- <laughs> you sick fuck. <laughs> Smashed tonight. <laughs> 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 we'll just bury him. <laughs> oh, no. oh. Why name the channel XO? Says Yazin. Yazin. What does it stand for? It doesn't really stand for anything. So it doesn't. It's, it doesn't it literally stand. I, I, I think the, the, the opening trailer sort of explained it well in the sense that it is. Um, but also terribly. It's sport. <laughs> it's sport. It's sport related, and we're yeah. we're doing a sport related channel kind of. Uh, with a bit of whatever hell we want to do in between with of that. Four people yeah. who are used to set sports. Sport based. Yeah. Well, As most people sport. are though. Uh, so Yeah, relatable. Um, but not for the fans by the fans. No. It's definitely not for the fans by the fans. <laughs> but a lot of people like it, in in football Which there's is, obviously X nodes and stuff. We and all know every 
sport YouTube channels claim to be that, and we're definitely not claiming to be that. Yeah, I sort of that's where we're different. I'd say we're for the lads from the lads. <laughs> 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 Someone says, I feel like YouTube is dead. Oh. Obviously, people are still getting heaps of views. It just feels like there hasn't been a new wave of YouTubers since the Viners. Is it getting stale? Thoughts, Will? No, I think you're probably just watching the wrong people. I think, people, I think it's, it's so to easy to just people. get in. Cause it's, it's like the, those type of people have the mindset of like, oh, old YouTube must have, was used to be so much better. It, no, it isn't. No, it didn't. Like, people used to just fucking shovel spoons full of cinnamon in their mouth and get millions of views you can't be like oh yeah really good that you'll always get the good and the, the I, bad I love the passion when it comes it's to fucking YouTube. stupid but do you like, you, you are the new wave though you are, you're technically I talk about the new wave no I think you are part of the new wave though aren't you what? really in the last year and a half your channel has gone fucking what, what were you like a hundred thousand or a million like super quick yeah but it's still like people have been doing people don't do that shit <laughs> People have been doing what I've been doing, like what for six or seven years, like Ray William Johnson. It's pretty much the same type yeah, but of format. And love him. T- t- have you seen his videos yeah, on do, Facebook? Do no, they're awful. Yeah. They're like yeah. genuinely Facebook's going daffle up stuff. Yeah, new YouTubers. Mm-hmm. Um, to be honest, so I've been looking for like new YouTubers to watch, and mm-hmm. I'm struggling like yeah. fuck. To be honest, like we've got um, Cam Kirkham. He's got a bit about another Jordy boy. We're gonna look after, support the next uh, the, ne- the next lad. Um, next gen. But. Apart from him, really, I'm I'm struggling at the who moment. Do, who do you watch? Do you watch David Dobrik? He's very good. Is he? Uh, David, yeah, he's really good. good. Yeah. No, I don't. It's like I vlogs, but in like it's really like a short sketchy, form, and it's actually sketch funny. joke sort of vlog. Yeah. Mm. Pop. So I'm keeping it quick. There's this Lele Pons last who's really funny. Really <laughs> no, I've seen what you've talked to Sally about. Oh, I, d- I don't understand. That. No, like, on, there's honestly. no punchline at all. It, like, it amazes me how people watch that shit. Isn't that funny? Do you ever think that's part of it? No, it isn't. Because <laughs> you're, <on, laughs> she, she's not avant garde. You're, not you're like, on a level that other. You're thinking: is it the fact that she's not funny that is fu- not? No, it's no. no I, I, what I mean is like: is it or, like? So I've watched some of the. I never watch her on YouTube. I watch her on Instagram. Hmm. Um, is it that I? I always go. The punchline will come in a second. Like, <laughs> I'm always watching it going. It'll be here in a minute. It'll be in four videos. No, genuinely, and it never arrives. And then I just go. But I'll always click on. I, I feel like I'm really bad at finding new, new YouTubers. Yeah. Yeah. Watch. It's hard. Uh, pretty much like uh, just Joe Rogan and people like that. But um, I'm looking for like, like I'm good I, oh, outside yeah. of us and that. I'm looking for like more people, but it's hard, isn't it? Like, there's people that I've come across who don't do YouTube but are really good. Do like stand up and stuff? And you think if they were on a camera, they'd be. Oh right. Do you think though? I often think. Do you wonder whether people don't want to be on YouTube? Yeah. I'm a bit huffed about. Um, oh. Oh, a bit annoyed. Uh, what's his name? Who's that lad you did a video with coming in? Billy uh, Wingrove. No, the the Sky One lad. Um, Jack Whitehall. Right. So he's come on. Sky One lad. He's come on to YouTube lately, and I'm like. Mm-hmm. All right, so you've got all the you've got all the TV money yeah. that we can't get because we weren't handpicked the way he was, and he's 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 being built up. And I yeah. I think to myself, you're, you're a bit of, in my opinion. I, I know you're mates to them, so you know I respect you. <laughs> but he's a bit of an unfunny. My opinion. I don't. I don't think he's that good. Let's put this I way. think it, it was uh, Stephen that made that video good. I like, think he knows. Uh, he knows a way around a joke. I think he's got a good joke. Bro. Yeah, he so, certainly knows a way around them. He just needs to get through <laughs> this out. He, he he hosted like the Brit Awards, and for the mm. few minutes I seen, I was just like, you know, literally, I could shit on this guy. Like <laughs> as a presenter, he's. He, I thought to myself, he's everywhere right now. He, Sky are giving him the push. He's doing videos with every single big Stephen U- tries big YouTuber, but he's uh, he's F two, the Sidemen, and all. And I'm like. Mm. So I've grafted me balls off on YouTube to be able to do collabs with these kind of caliber of YouTubers. He's coming from his place around yeah. the jokes to YouTube. I'm thinking YouTube. you're a bang average, uh, you know, Sky One guy who, if you'd started on YouTube, would never have made it, in my opinion, on right, YouTube okay. to start off with. I mean, Stephen's going doing the second video next week. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, I'm I'm just looking at him thinking, why you got to come over to YouTube when you've I mean, already you've already a, got the TV as money. a YouTuber like. The amount of different things we try and like apply ourselves to, like people are making movies and films from just talking. Like it's hard to be like, "Well, why are you coming here?" I, I suppose, but I think that YouTube is where you make your name and break out of. In, in, in a sense, he seems to be making, but isn't it not, financially a backward step? He's just trying to. Is it not a good thing that it's someone's CPM. gone mainstream? And then is it not a good thing for YouTube that that it can still attract people of that caliber of that? 
I think it's, I guess to me, it feels a little bit disingenuous. Yes, I, I'm that with you on that. that. If he'd have come here before it got big, I've seen certain uh, comedians who did. He's doing the James Corden fucking route, basically, isn't he? Offending loads of people. No. <laughs> Making <laughs> average jokes and trying to get as many people to feature on his channel he, as possible. I'd say he's My better dad. than James Corden in terms he's of a comedian. better than James Corden. Yeah. Yeah. What, what I think I mean, happened is, because he's, he's filmed, before he'd filmed the thing with me, he'd filmed with another group of people. I probably can't say it yet. But I, he's filmed with the side men. Uh-huh. Okay, okay, so I'll okay. just say it. <laughs> Not the KKK. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. Trying to laugh challenge with the KKK. And he was talking about when he was with them, like, they're just the fans were everywhere for the sidemen and then when I was with him somehow like the people that we drove past spotted me and not him yeah. even though they were right on his side so I think he's probably realised oh people on YouTube there's this whole new audience that I'm not getting mm. and, and he's probably just trying to tap into that doing a collab with the sidemen on their channel it's smart it, it is smart it, it's it's just, it's just, it just comes across as really like, like for the wrong business. Business. go on then mate you're doing the rounds are you let's get all the big YouTubers to give you the rub and hopefully you can make off of that what you've made I just feel like this is my main critique of the lad. Um, your eyes. You really have taken this place. <laughs> no, my main critique <laughs> is, <laughs> in my opinion, when you get at the top, and in, in, when you get at the top in anything, it'd be TV, YouTube, there should be a certain level of talent that gets you there. And it feels like he got lucky on Sky and then he's just hopped straight over to YouTube mm-hmm. and not done any of the work there either. And then just being like, collab, 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 right, I'll, t- I'll take all those subscribers. Thank you very he much. Does I think fit he's that, he does fit the YouTube model very perfectly. White middle class, um, not funny, lame jokes. <laughs> uh, all the things that he needs to do. When he hosted the Brit Awards, that's when I realised. I thought I literally am what? The, street ahead. There was of another you. comedian that really did a cool. video not long ago, and he it's started true. doing FIFA YouTube, and he'd do like. Oh, Rob Beckett. Yeah, that name. Sorry. And um, and he in, in start his videos, and they go, "Oh, why'd you get me onto FIFA?" He went, it's just easy. It's YouTube, isn't it, mate? And I remember just thinking. I really, I've lost a lot of because you know, I just ship these out and we put them on YouTube and loads of people watch them and I was just like you they don't, don't rob by the way <laughs> yeah it, and I just it, it, was words, was it was words to that effect yeah. he's, a, he's a big comedian yeah but he follows just, me it, on Twitter but it annoyed me because it felt a bit disingenuous that he just went oh it's just YouTube yeah and I was no going like, most YouTubers get I more views than Sky One yeah. does mm. on, a, on any weeknight do you What's know it? what I mean like they consider most YouTube numbers big success mm. if they got those on Sky yeah yeah was, what, it, uh, he doesn't really have the pulling budget. power to be saying that sort of thing like he's not a big enough star to be like oh just shit this out this is a big deal to you Rob yeah, <laughs> yeah. no I know it's that, it's that casual serious, yeah. but that's what annoys me a little bit because I've, I've, there are a lot of people are working hard on this and mm. they that, that's my point is, yeah. is the hard work's gone in from people like us mm. or whatever to get to a certain point and for someone to just hop over Without doing any real work, that that's what annoys me a little bit. But I get it would be the same. Like, if that happened, it doesn't really. I guess that's the problem. Is it couldn't happen in surgery. It couldn't happen in a, you know. If someone just went, I feel like taking up surgery for the day. You know what I mean? <laughs> you couldn't. But the problem is people don't see the training. Maybe it shows how easy mm. it is on YouTube at the moment. What lower standard of quality of stuff yeah, there I is. is. Correct. Just, you've the, just got to prove yourself. Like mm. there's people that go from YouTube and do presenting stuff, and there'll right. be people that have just tried to be presenters and not done mm. YouTube. Yeah, They're yeah. like, I'm losing out jobs to, you know, <laughs> some some guy who does Q and A's. I think me mean that's it. Yeah, like I don't really mind the crossover as much as it's mm. just like if he crossed over and he was a talented fucker. Then there'd be no qualms about it. I'd be like, mm. fair enough. Like, yeah, perfect. Like, <laughs> <laughs> for example, Will Smith just started an Instagram, yes. and like you're watching his Instagram stories, it's and they're fucking quality because yeah. it's genuine talent, and he's genuine, mm. like an interesting person. Yeah. Right. This is just different to that. I still think it strengthens us as like a platform, though, to have Probably names overall. like that part of it. Oh, overall. fair point. <laughs> <laughs> fair point. I, yeah. I take your point on that. It would also be a little bit like people. Some people pick up football or sort of go, I mm. want to do football all of a sudden. I reckon footballers and people who've worked in that industry for years must be a bit like, it's a bit annoying, isn't it? Wait, who just picks up football? Well, on YouTube, I mean, you know, Goal when keepers. there's been, it shows how, it shows the low quality. So when, when we're trying to do sports <laughs> stuff, it shows the low quality of journalism and stuff mm-hmm. that's out there that YouTubers who don't have any journalism training, don't have any, like, uh, you know, they don't have any background realistically in the game, can just pick up and go, I'll talk about football now. And mm. loads of people yeah. will watch it. But then it just annoys me that when people then get that level and they get that level of viewership, they just sit on it and just go, mm. right, no, well, I've it. got the viewers yeah. now and people like this. It's like watching ITV. Bad. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and you never said your worst and best podcast guests. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, best I think was the first Dan Portman one. I he really like that because that was like something new, like with an actor. Dan's become a bit of a mate. Like I'd, I'd like to do a. Um, He's a fantastic man. Dan's a fantastic <laughs> man. I, I kind of want to do. A, um, maybe we should do like a, I think a documentary with him. Um, you want to make a documentary of abs- you've got a taste for it now <laughs> Brian, Brian goes to the fridge and he gets milk out and he goes these cows have suffered for this <laughs> let's make a documentary on it Cowspiracy yeah, coming, exactly. soon. Yeah. coming yeah. soon Cowspiracy um, oh I did gosh. actually send him a text like two nights ago saying pitch time yeah 100% sexual a documentary by yours truly on the porn industry yeah. um, I didn't reply went straight to sleep <laughs> I, was, I was going to sleep at the time and I genuinely thought if I encourage this or, or maybe we just do a football holiday up and watch Salt Lake with them uh, yeah, that would, actually, get, that would actually be really just get pissed good. or Dan Portman goes to a Rangers game now Ooh, that would be carnage prob- prob- like it really would be because he can start a fight anywhere <laughs> he can yeah trust me yeah. Um, and the Rangers so the, do not like Game of Thrones he, yeah he was a, he was a good guest and uh, ended up becoming like a really good pal uh, which is always good um, worst the worst uh, it. Mm. it was that guru guy wasn't it guru guy you really didn't get along who the guy who came I thought the meditation thumbnail. Th- I, to be honest, um, so the, there was one guy who, um, very nice lad, so I'm not going to slate him as a, as a bloke, but like when you're presenting yourself as a sort of guru of um, knowledge and, you know, spirituality, um, and you come in and just crack jokes like the whole time, yeah. like, and he sort of tried to out Lawrence Lawrence for a bit of that. It, it just He's got really a bit like. Himself off. I, I was like. <laughs> yeah well I'm trying to get like knowledge from you here and like what are your teachings and what yeah. are you you written books and all that and, and and afterwards I just remember feeling like well that was a waste of time yeah and, 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 and I regret well, do they I regret putting that one out a little bit really? uh, yeah some people just don't mesh well or like sometimes it's difficult to understand not really I, I, it's not about that it's if if you're presenting yourself as a guru then you better have shit to say when it comes down to it do you think though also I was I think if you're a proper guru maybe you wouldn't be going on a podcast trying to spread your message and I don't mean any I don't mean yours I mean any podcast you just will be going one shot. I'm, I'm chill yeah. do you know what I mean there, there was one podcast I deleted because basically I didn't uh, appreciate the way the guys uh, tra- as I, I I did his podcast afterwards and uh, we'd agreed on um, shared use of footage and then afterwards they were like oh no no you're not allowed any of the footage that we've taken yeah. I was like do you know what it is I don't want you on my fucking channel and see you later um, but as for best uh, Kieran Dyer was good. He was good. Robbie was just good, though, wasn't yeah, he? He was, wasn't he? he was just a nice man. Yeah, that was special. Yeah. And it was did you fancy thing. him a bit? <laughs> like, was did he have the Cavani effect or not? Yeah, it, he's just. It was just really surreal to be around someone you've always looked up to, isn't it? It's like, wow, that's. Robbie, Robbie, Robbie was rude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd say Robbie was probably like as nice as anyone had been in right. terms of like you go into his house and he's like, yeah, we'll just make you some food. Not the food was right there. Yeah. Going. Wow. And I love food. Uh-huh. So <laughs> that instantly got a massive brownie points. Oh, my God. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, brownies, yeah. <laughs> what is the greatest thing you've ever done to help someone? <sighs> God, that that's... Joined XO. You're welcome, lads. <laughs> <laughs> Again. Okay. Oh, no. Most embarrassing song you remember listening to as a kid? Did you One really enjoy it. Yeah. <laughs> Never been just invited disco. back. <laughs> yeah. Im- embarrassing Steven song. Stephen tries. <laughs> just the, do you remember Dragon Force? Yeah. Kind of. The one that was like, a cartoon. Like, really, the one that was really hard on Guitar oh, Hero. Yeah. I went oh, to see no. them once and just couldn't Did do it. Did they myself. slap hard? <laughs> <laughs> I remember yeah. um, Eiffel 65. Oh, blue. blue. Is it? Yeah. yeah. Big tube. Uh, most hated what was, what YouTubers. Was number one when you were born. Have you ever looked that up? No, there's exactly. a website for that. Yeah, there's a website. I think you can. Yeah, let, let's let's look. Mine's this, uh, boom, boom, boom. Everybody say why yeah. That one. You're the Al- Al- <laughs> Brothers. Yeah. That's not really though. Yeah. 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 1995. Wow. July summertime. Big tube for the summer. I broke my nose in '96. <laughs> Uh, to that song yeah <laughs> <laughs> Mambo was number five that was a that oh, was that's a, a good alright birthday song. number one. showing our age here will there be more your birthday soon brands such as Nike oh, in the future that. I don't want to think yes, about it Will's we'll getting really birthday biffs should we do it now when see the 11th, 11th. Look at that. Uh, you see we've got to wait for that it's Mother's Day as well I pretty much fucked it what <laughs> 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 oh, <no>. William, 
with her. So <laughs> Dad's uh, going to be cross with you. <laughs> date, date of birth, will, will you? Eleventh uh, of March, nineteen ninety-six. All right. And your safety deposit number. <laughs> uh, I'm going to say, say Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson? I think, I don't know what it is, but Michael Jackson's. Michael Jackson's. What comes to mind when I think of me as, as an infant. <laughs> the British children. <laughs> <child. laughs> How him. deep is your love? Take it's that. Take that. <laughs> oh, God. Robbie <laughs> fucking does it again. He's always in these. He's yeah. always number one. Yeah, always in the do you, do you want to do heart. yours, Lawrence? Yeah, sure. Mistletoe and wine, Cliff Richard. <laughs> Thank you. Very similar. Merry Christmas. Christmas yeah. Merry Christmas. Yeah. Miss- oh, Ultimately, right. I did meet Cliff Richard. My, mine's Jack Your Body, apparently. What's that? I don't know. Jack Your Body? Yeah, I'm going to look in America to see what the American number one Jack. was. Jack. Uh, no. Your Body, Jack. Some, uh, <laughs> yeah. Beer and the Beatles. Yeah. The be- oh, the Beaters. Uh, <laughs> the Beaters. <laughs> How old do you think I am? I mean, literally a year older than <laughs> this guy. <laughs> a year older. The Beaters. Mm. Music tastes, boys. Someone's okay. asking. Oh, 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 films, films, music, whatever, whatever. What just, just get to know each other. Film. Uh, my favourite film, the two favourite films are The Dark Knight yes, and same. Ferris Bueller's Day Off. That's really? Good. Yeah, Next love two. those two. Wow, I'm surprised you said Ferris Bueller. I thought Ferris Bueller's Day Off was good, but I don't know if I'd have it in me top two. Like, I don't know what it is about it. I yeah. like Shrek 2. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really. It is genuinely quite good, though. Sorry. Which one do you really like? What's your the, if you Dark Knight masterpiece? The, the Dark Knight's my favorite yeah. one. Really? Yeah, yeah. Not the Dark Knight. I'm not Knight. much of a film person though. Not yeah, so usually into it. Yeah, I'm not over the films. Films. If, oh, no. Do you have a short attention span? Do you think? <laughs> yes. What? Fried. Yeah. Or you're just like scrolling through Twitter and shit. Uh, yeah. If, if I can't imagine, like, <laughs> you, I can't imagine you sitting there for a three-hour <laughs> movie just like. And not yeah, taking mom, breaks. Mom, mom I feel like you'd yeah. have to like have a half an hour and just be like do yeah. something, you know, like <laughs> kind of focus. Yeah. Right. Do you think that's like an actual thing though? What just being like what do they call t- it? Um, attention deficit disorder? No, I don't I feel think like you can have a low attention span handles. Yeah. No, no I'm not saying it is that. I'm saying asking why. You know. Um, I just think I don't like films in it. Yeah. <laughs> you <thought laughs> like you'd have to stop them every few minutes and sort of make fun of it. Though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so the camera yeah. 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 Turn it. <laughs> Practice it three takes. Right. Back okay. the <laughs> sure what, who's yeah. your, uh, in the Godfather? Right. Okay. You've done this bit wrong. <laughs> who's your, who's your favorite mu- uh, music artist? I like Kanye West. Yeah. Mm. So does he? Yeah. Uh, Why the what? What do you like about him? Just the beats. Does he do the beats then? Does he? Does do he? you like the? Do you like oh. the, what, the scratching? Why yeah, yeah. Like? <laughs> he tears up that shit. Oh. Um, <laughs> I don't know, like Gold Digger, then all No the Church ones. in the World. I am just a basic bitch, like mm-hmm. all the big hits, Black Skinhead. Yeah. Oh, I didn't like that album. Uh, I <coughs> from Pablo. All the lights. That's I the like one. Um, the, the one that's um, Drunken Hot Girls album, that one. Graduation. I think that was my favourite Kanye album. Not specifically that song. Flash and Lights and all that. It just had so many like really good songs on there. Yeah. If you could be one musician, who would you be? I'd happily Santana <laughs> Bruce Springsteen <laughs> No um, Santana I don't even know who it is Yeah, yeah they Santana is no, not a Yeah Santana is no. who, would, who, would be, who would you be? I wouldn't mind being Dave Grohl I wouldn't mind being with Dave Grohl to be fair yeah. <laughs> You could be what's Dave Grohl's song called? Uh, band called? Foo Fighters Foo Fighters You'd yeah. be one of the Foo Fighters Yeah That's Yeah who would you be? You, you probably switch off after one song. Just <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, you <laughs> lost. <laughs> you want to be big, man. Uh, I'd want to be alive. So. I mean, DJ Khaled's already, you know, the door's open for that <laughs> one. <Yeah. laughs> just slot right in there. I might just take his clothes one day and just put them on. No one would be either wise, apart from the fact that different ethnicity and the a foot taller than him but he's quite a small guy I've heard. he's a little fat shit <laughs> <laughs> that's why I'm a bit annoyed that I got called it really well yeah he's massively o- I'm overweight he's massively overweight <laughs> and he's a foot shorter than me I'd, lo- I'd like to be looking down on this fucking Logan Paul and be like who are you fucking calling yeah huh? you what thought he was six foot four before yeah he's coming down yeah you were a step I'm, I'm going off of what you're saying oh. he's 188 when you were serving him <laughs> serving him drinks <laughs> I better not be the title he's got the ace of spades <laughs> What's, okay. uh, what's your favourite films? <sighs> the Godfather. I've never seen. Well, then he goes to Paris. Yeah, it's a good yeah, film. Yeah, it's a great movie. It's a great short. The Godfather is probably Will's idea of like 
a nightmare having to sit and watch it because it's so slow. It was made That's in the like, one I've got in a hoodie, isn't it? Uh, yes. That's 1972. It's uh, so, so that was back when um, oh, shit. films were just so much slower paced. They were more like yeah. theatre. Yeah. Can't, can't yeah. it. Uh, <laughs> but the reason I like it so much is when you watch it. it so when you watch it at like 50 when I first seen it you take certain things from it then you watch it at 30 and you like you realise well you're anticipating watching it yeah you realise um, you learn a lot more from it now like because right. it's it's basically how to be a man right. is what this whole movie is about in my head anyway the, the, the more I watch it it's not just about like family and it's, it's how to be a fucking man it's about integrity in a way. Uh, well yeah because you can't it's about self-control and like not reacting so the whole time other families are fucking pissing him off and, and it's he his struggle is to be the most calculated person in this situation means reacting when it's time to react and, and as someone with a bad temper in the past I'm like it just teaches you so much yeah and um, after controlling my temper better now than I used to like you watch it and you're just like in awe of him do you think it's um, it's still a bit of a lesson knowing not to get into that lifestyle anyway? Because it's quite a sad life to be in. It's a it, it's it's a lonely. It's very much like a YouTuber's life. It's a lonely life. Yeah. Um, I'm so only three meet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> start this one. It was <laughs> one time you can't start. Thirty years there. ago, there was a Vice article about Marlon Brando being <laughs> sad and lonely. The best what bit though life. is when the, the Vice the Vice article comes out. Literally, it's like will will any goes to Paris with his mate the <laughs> yeah. same week? Yeah. It's like fuck you. But, um, and, uh, nah. Um, yeah, that was good. What's your favourite film? I like quite a few films, but I like Fight Club. I think it's a really great, well put together film. Yeah. I think like we our generation lacks a film like that. We have just got too many. Oh, you've got. What what movies have you got that you feel like? Find and Dory. A turning point of a film. Big. <laughs> Tom Hanks. <laughs> there isn't anything like that. You know, I don't think I've seen a film in such a long time where I was like, wow. That really what, what what makes you wow at the, at the like Fight Club? Yeah. When it first came out, it was like it was about how society is just all hypocritical and like all the men in it are emasculated in some way and they shouldn't Worse say now. it, can't say it. And Obviously. there's a lot of there's a lot of characters in it where you're like, I kind of know that guy or I kind of know that guy, mm. and you can relate quite a lot to a lot of the different things that people are going through and the way they choose to solve it is like a really it's it's different to the way that everyone else would choose to solve it it's a very like hyper practical way of solving a huge problem which is modern day emasculation of men which a lot of men I think a lot of guys feel that way I think a lot of guys feel that way I just don't think they talk about it like they just because but if you do you get a cunny few views (laughs) (laughs) I think the the problem is feminists come out as well no, well yeah but also you can talk about not being happy with your own life without having to put other people down yeah. do you know what I mean I feel like that's what that film does quite well is it talks about his own problems without being like feminism shit or all these other things and everyone in the modern day just seems to be going for everyone else and they very often just don't reflect on their own shit do you know mm. what I mean do you, like I watch everyone else's podcast and show and they're just fucking slagging everyone off all the time I mean are we have we done that so far? No, I mean, yeah, but I think that's Eddie wrong. Crawford's girlfriend, like, Jack Wilde, <laughs> well, Jack having, White. So, you know, had, have you not thought this? When like, I was, uh, I was watching a clip of a manager the other day, and he was like, "You weren't, you didn't see any of the training this week. You haven't seen any of the, mm. you haven't seen the way that I talk to the players. You don't know anything, and yet you guys are just completely passing opinion after opinion after because mm. people have made a job out of that." Yeah, yeah, bastards talking about other people. No, yeah. I don't mean that in like a. I don't mean that in an <laughs> way. How long before we see um, an Arsenal fan TV fan TV where people are criticising <laughs> oh, the lads yeah. on Arsenal fan TV? Jesus Possibly Christ. weeks. It's very you know postmodern. Like, you know when YouTube's really interesting when there's two reactions, there's someone's reacting to a two reaction. Yeah. Yeah. That's, right. that, that's yeah. when views are going through. Oh, that's, that's, that's a good oh. week. That's a great. You know, week. you're also truly irrelevant when you're reacting to a reaction of a reaction. Yeah, like, there's just. Yes, yes. Reacting to a reaction. So, which uh, musician would you be then? Would I be? Oh. Sorry, I thought <laughs> you were laughing then. No. Can uh, you? Can you? No, I don't. You're quite a, lonely, isn't he? Just to be with. Well, he's got Kim, so. I wouldn't want to be with. I wouldn't want to be with. Yeah, like, what do you think it'll yeah. be like to be with Kim? Do you think she's, she, she's bound to be high maintenance, isn't she? Bloody she hell. makes a lot of money, though. She, yeah. He's probably more high maintenance than her. Yeah. I feel like they're both together. They Apparently, they found each other and they were like kindred spirits. You know what I mean? Like Who's he? Both. <laughs> 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 Is that a rapper? Didn't they feel like they were both uh, huh? like 
they found out someone else. Some, they found someone else is insecure in the way they were insecure, mm. and so they understood each other's insecurity apparently. Interesting. Which I found quite interesting. I feel like that is that's almost the cocktail for a perfect relationship. If you can find someone who understands your insecurities in the same way as you do, then you've got a good, pretty good relationship there. To each cock, yep. <laughs> <laughs> It's the fact that I was about to be like, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes, mate. Sorry to leave you hugging, though. Team, team I'll chip. I'll be hugging. <laughs> There's also those people, though, that you'd quite like to be like uh, polymaths, where they can just do anything. Poly who? <laughs> like Charles like Jamie Fox. and those sorts. Of, Jamie Foxx is slightly that, right? He's Charles good. Campino, he's a good actor. No, he's, so he's funny. He can do voices. Gold digger, he's in there. He can play all this music. They seem to have so many different understandings of things. Who's the best at that? Is that Childish Gambit? No, but he's good. I like. Have you seen I, Atlanta? The, the word still went over my head. Pop. People that can act, sing, and oh, okay. can do everything. Right. Triple threats. Like Will Smith, a, lo- a little bit like yeah. that, isn't he? A little bit. But Will, then, Will Smith sort yeah. of gone off the boil a little bit later on, like hasn't he? He's not, when was Will Smith? The Rock seems to be taking all of his roles. I saw a picture you know of I mean? The Rock in the same shirt in three different films the other day. Like, just exactly. He's just the same yeah. character in every movie. It's, it's, it's him and Kevin Hart. I was going to say, Kevin Hart and like a handbag. Yeah. The, yeah. the Rock starring as The Rock. Yeah, yeah. it's always as, the, yeah, like it's never really a character that's not no. The Rock. Mind you, I did uh, see him um, on Instagram the other day, like in the recording booth, basically doing. Um, the sound like recording his vo- doing voiceover for uh, his acting roles like when he's going back over stuff that didn't quite sound right, right and, all yeah, that. Yeah. and I thought like that's when you reach that elite level is when you're literally obsessed with what you do and what I'm learning more and more that, like the more we work with like pe- like people like you who you're obsessed with what you do right obsessed and lonely I think that's what it is <laughs> I think that's he's the technical got a term Bitcoin spreadsheet you know you're obsessed you've made your own not Bitcoin anymore, spreadsheet not anymore. no but when you get like to that no. level and then you start working with other people and you're like oh shit you're not obsessed and mm. like and then you but then almost it, to me that's like a bad thing like yeah. even though being obsessed isn't necessarily a good thing mm. because it takes away from all the other aspects of your life and you know you're just so dedicated that you th- forget about mm. everything else that you probably might so look back on 10 years and think I could have been doing this this and mm. this I look at people who are have a more of a um, a 9 to 5 mentality and mm. I look at them like you're not going to fucking that. last <laughs> you are nothing Like you, you know what I mean in my head even though that's not a fair attitude um, it just consumes you doesn't it mm. Do you um, do you believe in do you guys believe in conspiracy theories? <sighs> we've been we've been asked a lot to talk about Fucking this. Fucking hate conspiracy theories. Yeah. There's, a, there's a foot there's a lot of footballing ones. That okay. I think we should ask people to tell us their favourite Fucking footballing Seth, conspiracy Seth Blatter theories. Seth just generally isn't he? He's yeah, just I mean, riddled. He, that was riddled with it. <laughs> and he's just Absolutely riddled. Riddled with it. Riddled. Yeah. I loved I mean, it when that guy threw money over him. Oh, what's yeah, his name? He's a bit of a he's a yeah. Yeah. Yes, but that he had a he's quite good at getting. I was with him on that one. Publicity. Well, yeah. What's his Memeless name? face reveal. That's a conspiracy. Is he a real person? No, I've met him. I just told him I'd keep that. <laughs> <laughs> He's uh, I'm surprised he hasn't done it yet. People like, said that way, he should have been. Jimmy Conrad genuinely. Jimmy Conrad genuinely gave him a pep talk about the face reveal at the upload. Um, what? Jimmy Conrad? Yeah. What? To be fair, Jimmy Conrad. Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy Conrad's Conrad, like the the dad of the group of sports. No, he, he's the he's the voice of reason in all uh, these things. Sensible. Uh, just, just came to me and he went, "I'm thinking of doing a face reveal." And I think, I think you need to talk to Jimmy. Talk to your dad. Jimmy was like, "Man, keep it keep it behind the scenes." Yeah, so. yeah. I think he should. Meaningless is like Daft Punk. Do you know what I mean? He should yeah. like. Keep Wait, his well, face. he's got no reason to show. He's like, I mean, fair enough. He had a bad social blade month, but I mean, he, he hasn't for he a hasn't. very long time. So. Yeah, yeah. And who'd have thought jumping from one lorry to the other? It depends. <laughs> I guess it depends on um, it, what his aspirations are. Because if it's just to get yeah. shit tons of views, then crack on. Yeah, but then, face, if you want to branch out uh, or whatever, into yeah. facial things. Well, no, but like, <laughs> That's th- a fair point. there's things that he can't do just simply because he will not be seen. Do you think simple? he could do? Oh, I never I see mean, a what's in the box would, challenge. Never. Right, a, that would be a really good. Try a Japanese candy will not come from <laughs> no. George. Oh no, he could just do it with his hands and stuff. Like, uh, well, yeah. Like, yeah, you just have to buy that stuff actually. Yeah. What was weird Mop-a-mop-a-mop. is um, when I when I met him at the uh, that event, um, he doesn't come across the same way. No, it's it's what I find really funny with George is every time I record with him. Do you know like people have like a vlog voice or a video voice, and it's, it's generally a, a little bit louder. George completely just this different is, person, yeah, like yeah. It's completely. Like different. When he said who he was, I was like, 
what? Like, <laughs> shout a bit and then yeah, you'll get it. Yeah, yeah but yeah. Uh, he, he, I knew straight away, I thought you must transform. We all turned the volume up, but mm. he fucking. Was it? Uh, yeah, the changed. tone of voices. Uh, He's a fucking shapeshifter. Class. Yeah. Shapeshifter. That's a conspiracy the theory. Mimulus is a shapeshifter. <laughs> and there's the title. <laughs> Boom. Done. <laughs> Fuck off. Mimulus, shape. Shifter, also a good song, an embarrassing song. People used to dance to shapeshifter. Shapeshifter. Mm. If you could have one special power, what would it be? Because that would be a shapeshifter. Probably get lots of YouTube views. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. um, invisibility. Oh, I don't want to know. I, the, the smile. I don't want to know. He's go. gone red. We don't want to do it. Don't <laughs> move the, it, yeah, I know you're going to the New, Newcastle locker room and see what they were saying at half time. No, yes, that's exactly what I would be doing. Mm. And then on the bus to the swimming baths. <laughs> <laughs> on the bus to the swimming baths. Yeah. Well, obviously, free free bus ride. <laughs> I'm invisible. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. I'd take huh? the bus. <laughs> I'd take the bus. Why would you why should I pay for my own power when I'm getting a free bus ride? <laughs> yeah, yeah. In the dark night when he's on the bus. <laughs> Bob's going off. <laughs> I got so bad guys to get. You go any faster? Who said that? Nobody. Oh, <laughs> fucking <laughs> rush hour. You funny. Uh, this is my go at night. Yeah. <laughs> um. Just like the people just seeing the, the, the board. <laughs> just the kids in the back twatting with an apple. <laughs> what would you see? Uh, flying. Like flying. That's a good one. Yeah. I'd love to fly. But if you shapeshift, you could shapeshift into a dragon and fly then. I feel like you're covering more options if why, you're a shapeshifter. Why'd you pick dragon to fly? Well, I wouldn't want to be a sparrow, would I? Like, why? If you're going to be something cool, I'd like not a you. You castle fan. Evil. Don't trust them. Shite. Yeah. Can they blow fire? No. Dragons know? can. Dragons aren't no, real. I'm with. standing by this. Well, they are if you could shapeshift into them. Do you remember animorphs? Is that no. the thing of heart attack? No, no. <laughs> uh, it used to be. Why are you yeah, I'd be here. <laughs> <laughs> That's a shit superpower. <laughs> Just more, really. Yeah. They used animals to be. They could turn those. into any animal as long as they touch the animal. Well, I'd right. r- well, yeah, well, it's going to be hard to find a dragon. I'd rather just be a shapeshifter. When you say hard to find a dragon, <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, that might be out there. Yeah. I'm going to stand by this. Yeah, I just horse. want to. <laughs> what do you want your special power to be? Horse. <laughs> I'd be a horse. <laughs> no. yeah. Just you mean uh, top part half horse, uh, bottom half Brian, or bottom half I've horse? I've always wanted top, a, top, top I've top always top. wanted a race in the Grand National. You would be a good but horse. I'd never, I'd never be small enough to be a jockey. So best chances to be a horse. Say small enough to be a jockey. Yeah. <laughs> I'd be a horse. horse. <laughs> if you've raced in the Grand National, Jesus. Be a horse. Did you ever see that they did a documentary um, on the giant jockey? No. um Speaking of documentaries, they did one on uh, Mr. Hands, uh, who was the, um, you know, the guy. There was called. There was a video going around the internet called Two Guys, One Horse." Have you heard about this? No, I thought it was Stump. Do you think I can I can play this to Stephen now? Can, can we get Can we just get Stephen's reaction? I'm not like that I don't know. Uh, let me find it. So we're, we're about to show Will and Stephen. What do you mean, Will and Stephen? Just, just show it to Stephen. Show it to Stephen. Two guys, one you need horse. Your mic. Two guys, one horse. All right. You ready? Nay, I'm not ready. Fucking hell, what the hell are you doing? Us. No, no! <laughs> You've got this. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Does it actually. Oh my god, right, okay. Oh my oh. god! <laughs> Oh, does that not? Yeah, yeah. Damn it! It puts him in the hospital and kills him. Man. It killed him. It killed him. That fucking horse killed him. Well, that can't go in, surely. Well, you know, we haven't shown the video. Um, two maybe guys, one horse. Maybe it's the first bit of the reaction. No, we, that we, is right. So the, the the point is, is there's a documentary now being made about um, the horse, Mr. Right, yeah. Hans. As he was called. How can he, that be? Why uh, he died. I don't have any respect for modern documentary. He died <laughs> from a, a perforated um, rectum. <laughs> and that was that was the end of him. <laughs> <Your reaction. laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> just, I just live for reactions like that. That was absolutely gold. I wasn't expecting that. Oh. That was horrible, wasn't it? Yeah. 
Why would anyone? Like, what, why would they do that? There's so much fascinating <laughs> stuff in the world. Why would you make it up? You're that? fucking. Why, why would you make it up? Oh. Like oh. Well, what what drives a man to want to get fucked by you? Apparently, though, that there was I want to be a horse. <laughs> What's that like? Yeah, oh, that's, that's, yeah. that's what you get from the <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So, so you want to tell me? I, I was genuinely <laughs> thinking. So the young dog. I want to be old. I was, I was, this is maybe you. Maybe like a fit girl would want to ride me. Anyway, the Let's point. The point this. is. The point is. This isn't. This is ridiculous. The, the point is though. What is um, the when they went and raided his house. Full of horses. <laughs> that wasn't the first sort of video he'd made. Apparently, he'd been going on for ages, and that was just the one that killed him. Wow. So. And that's the one that happened to go viral. R.I.P. Mr. Hands. So, again, your favourite movie. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, Black Beauty, <laughs> actually. <laughs> All right. Should we leave it there? Not really. I don't want to finish on that. <laughs> no. that's, that's a good enough place to I feel it. like I'm broken. You must watch a lot of stuff every week, though. You must go to like, clear the, Okay, yeah. Um... Not that type of stuff. I but can't say that's new for me. Where you think I wish I could do more <coughs> that's, on talk this. about that? Yes. No, I wish I could do like more on this, like a, an hour of something, or like you could make a documentary on something. You must read so much stuff. I read a lot of shite, Lawrence. There's nothing I come across. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, there's an hour video in that. Never, really, really? You never. never. Read, I, I heard on another podcast earlier this week about cocaine bear. Have you ever heard about cocaine bear? Tell me. It's a. It's His podcast a, is no, no, finished. No, it's a brand. It's a brand safe. Uh, thing because it's an anti-drugs campaign right there's a guy who sent his son across a border to get cocaine into America right so he sends him and the idea was he'd come back on the plane parachute out the plane and he'd have the cocaine on his back right so this guy jumps out the plane hits his head on the side of the plane and drops the cocaine and then drops to his own death and they were like well we need to find the cocaine <laughs> <laughs> don't tell the body. Not kind of like so it fell into a forest. So they go into the forest and they find the bag. The bag is now completely empty. It's been ripped apart. And next to it is a dead bear. <laughs> right? And this bear, they take they obviously take the bear and take it back to a lab or whatever. Carve it open and it's just full of cocaine. <laughs> this bear is just eating all the cocaine, right? Unreal. What they consider to be fifteen million dollars worth of cocaine, this bear has consumed it all, right? Wow. Bear, bears just don't know when to stop. The doctor <laughs> said Winnie the Pooh showed up. The doctor said, the doctor said uh, yeah, just a little bit more. He used to get stuck in the holes. <laughs> there was a tiny pig next to this bear as well, and it was just going, I told him. He also had to come down. And he died from uh, he died from heart attack, stroke, <laughs> renal failure. Everything that happened to the that could happen to this bear had happened to this bear. And the doctors that <laughs> I bet he went out on a high though. Yeah. Bet he, <laughs> fuck me. The doctor that the doctor that carved him open was like, no mammal on the planet could have survived from that pain that this bear got. Right? You got to kind of got to respect the bear. Just kept going he pushed, on. He right? went out like Scarface. Yeah. This guy. So then now the so then after a while, I he's buried his cockroaches. Yeah, these guys were obsessed with this bear. So they went and found the bear, bought the bear, stuffed the bear, and now the bear stands in the local. What I think do it's like they stuff it with? And they call, <laughs> Sorry, him, stuffed they call him Cocaine Bear, right? Or Pablo Escobar. Oh, right? so right? good. Right? Love it. And so basically, now the we bear. We had the Care Bears when I was a kid. This is somewhat different. <laughs> oh, Care Bears. Yeah. So the, the bear now stands there as like a, a don't take cocaine <laughs> oh, message. Jesus. Stuff. Yeah. Apparently, he's got like a little hat on and stuff. I looked it up after I listened to it. A bucket hat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake! He's got an 016 on, on the front. Yeah. We 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 could go and visit him. Um, I'm not sure he's really a hero. Or anything. We've been looking for places to he visit. Doesn't move very much. We're looking for beautiful football places or interesting football places to visit. Or, no cocaine either. Or, or, no, or yeah. other sporting um, places potentially. So, anyway. have you got any suggestions? <sighs> Get it in the comments. That's amazing. Yeah. Um, of course, let's finish on cocaine bear. I yeah, mean, great. Really, the last two sub- subjects have been um, sort of, you know, explorational. Yeah, although it's not. It's obviously a, it's a moral story. Don't take cocaine. One about no, a, take one about a bear. One about a horse. Yeah. Wildlife. Excess. I, I love when we were cutting the documentary, the boxing <laughs> documentary, and Joe Weller said, uh, 
Oh, Mike Tyson's my hero. We had to find some stock footage of Mike Tyson, but the only stock footage we can find and afford of Mike Tyson was him doing an anti-drugs ad. <laughs> and I remember just watching it and being like, this is a really ironic video, isn't it? <laughs> He's there like, don't take drugs, kid. And it's like, okay, thanks, Mike. Have you seen him talk about when he used to have a tiger? Yeah. Like, and he used to just play with it and like fight have with you, it. Have you watched that footage? Yeah. Well? Fuck it's me. scary, isn't it? And then is uh, he had a fucking it? tiger in his yeah. back garden, just, just on a leash, though, like yeah. just running around. Yeah. And it would come and jump up at him. Yeah. And like with literally have its claws around his neck, and he would have no fear. Yeah. He'd like, like, like push he'd it around as well. He'd be like, "Fucking get well, off!" You do that with your dog, yeah. though, don't you? Yeah. And it's the same with those lions. Like, if I try to pick a fight with my dog, should win. Yeah. Isn't it the same with those lions? Under card. You talking about that lion man? Who they knew, they knew him and so they didn't attack him. Oh, so that's a, a good There's video. a story that's mm. just come out about the lion whisperer. I, me- I mentioned him on the uh, the last podcast as a man who Is he it? brings lions into his sanctuary and raises them from babies, and then when he goes into the pen, like they wrong. never attack him. They treat him as one of their own, and, and he. He is like, uh, you know, one of the head lions of the pack in their head. Anyway, he takes them out for walks. Um, then there's like a, a trail that they go on. And there was a... Um, Past a bear. Don't do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all different. <laughs> Let that be a lesson to you. Yeah. Um, but no, there was a, there was a, um, he was out with three lions and there was one of the... Um, we England. <laughs> Sporting podcast. That's 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 basically sums up what a sporting podcast this is. Um, George remains still gleaming, you know. Uh, so there's apparently a, like a, a journalist um, who'd come over to get an interview. I think with him, and she was on the trail and decided to set up camp on the trail. A lioness spotted her, and uh, but the story never got out. That was all she wrote. The lioness ripped her oh, foot with a shred. Oh my god. Uh, I don't know. The lonely life of a lion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I know, those lions, they'll mm. see anything, just eat it. <laughs> Definitely did, like, rip that to shreds. So, Im- imagine that you're mad. taking the lions out for a walk and then you're like, shit, there's an outsider. Mm. Boom. Uh, tiddles! Tiddles! <coughs> no! Oh, damn. Pr- pretty much that's how it went. You're yeah. joking. Yeah, that's rip, mad. Killed her. And then he's the one who has to give out the. He has to do the. Um, the, the article. He has to give a quote of like, "We're really sad. Sorry about the family." And <laughs> anyway, it's like, "It's a mad thing." <laughs> <laughs> hashtag. At yeah, the end hashtag of it. Yeah. So that was that. That's, That's crazy. Yeah. Well, and this said. is why I want to go and interview him and all that. You know, what, why would you want to go? Did you I see would, what happened in the last yeah. interview? Eh? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't know. I think I'd stand a better chance than her, but um, it's still worrying. It's still alive. Yeah. Yeah. I still die, but yeah. I'll die valiantly. Yeah. <laughs> I landed a few shots. Hi, Remember we're, me. That could be my next yeah. I'm going out. If I'm going out, I'm going out like Weller. You know, yeah. I mean, just giving it a bit, and then eventually, yeah, I'm going to die. But yeah. Lions land big shots though, don't they? Another shot. I'm just at the side going, another shot to the face. <laughs> um, <laughs> Poor lions. Nah. I just feel like when lions do what they're naturally supposed to do, people always go, terrible tragedy. And you're like, you went near a lion. Yeah. 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 But what was she doing just camping out randomly? Like, like could he not let her in the house? I don't know. I don't know. I obviously well, not. You're smiling, but surely she could have just stayed, stayed in the spare room. Yeah. <laughs> Why didn't you camp Bit over the top, really, is it? <laughs> Fuck I think me. I think the more we think about this, I think it's. it's I, I, I went through a period of, um, <laughs> of of watching like a when animals snap sort of a compilation video on YouTube because I'd love it when people would get in a cage with a lion or get in with a fucking ape or whatever, and they just and then they just like because people have this arrogant attitude like we uh, we we belong in there with them, and I just think it's funny when you see the look on their face like oh, I fucked up. This is an actual wild animal. Isn't there laughing at? I laugh them. I laugh at the people. <laughs> There's horrible stories about people getting their faces ripped. Well, well for no, so like oh, the people yeah. who pump um, like uh, la- what? L- lions no, and tigers, mm-hmm. they they put um, loads of pain. loads of sedatives um, into lions and tigers and that, so that tourists can come and get a picture taken with them in oh, Thailand yeah. and that. Mm-hmm. And when those like lions just slap oh. out of it for a second, I think good for you. It's like when fucking kill the bus. My doors. Really? It's when they have like the bull fighting. <sighs> when you see one of them get. Shafted, it's pretty good fun, isn't it? Uh, yeah. yeah. When, when people are like, oh no, th- this lion's just chilling out and letting me stroke it because it's comfortable. It's like, no, it's full of fucking drugs, mate. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. F- the pump in them full of drugs. I can understand that. That annoys me. Cocaine but... bear. <laughs> R.I.P. Cocaine bear. R.I.P. Genuinely. So if it's, I just love Respect it. the dead. Right. Yeah. Is that it? And we're done. I mean, it's some really cheery topics to end on. Like, it's been it? mad. It's, it's been, been mad. It's been interesting. Melee ponds and 
<laughs> a lion. Okay. Yeah. Right. Okay. Um, before we finish it. I mean, should we plug the socials? Yeah, do all Exo that. So on TW, who came up with that handle? Uh, that was all, all Adam. Shite, Boltwood, if you're watching that, useless. <laughs> Instagram, what's that? Exo on. <laughs> on oh, I don't know how he thought of that. Exo <laughs> on Insta. When's uh, the second channel coming? Have we got one of those? Uh, we have, no. Uh, King of the North, um, that does need a few more subs yeah, on, okay, on the second right. channel. We'll use that right uh, now. You can get the merch at willany.co.uk. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, can yeah. I get your merch guy um, to help us out as well? Because we sloth, do. yeah, it's Sean. We, we do. Sean the sloth. To, to be honest, I <laughs> need. Slow, but yes, it's your cocaine sloth. I need <laughs> merch as well, though. Um, I, I need merch and I, I need help. Okay. I'm going to get my design. own guy. I had designs It's not just made, a picture of your own face, is but it? The pi- no, no, no the, the person... Um, Does my drink and offend you? Doing the... Um, Why do you never sell merch like that? Uh, do you know what it is, mate? I'm watching you and realising I've fucked up a long time. <laughs> so, help us out. Yeah. Bring them back the Guinness, man. Um, what else are we plugging? Um, is there anything else? Steve Insta, Insta Twitter, yeah, and, and we've all got channels. <laughs> so. Right, okay. Well, See ya. Right, cool. No, then, so we'll be in the description. See you later. Ciao, ciao.